quantum world can seem chaotic and unexplainable. This has led to some bizarre theories about the universe. Here I will explain and compare two of the craziest, but also most believed quantum theories. Let's start with an experiment. So we fire a photon at this setup. It can either go through one of the slits or hit the barrier. Those that do make it through, hit a screen and make a mark. If we were to fire enough photons, we would start to see an unexpected pattern emerge. This is called the interference pattern, and is caused by photons acting not as particles, but as waves. Waves of probability. The wave travels to the barrier. Most gets deflected, but some makes it through, making two new waves. These waves then interact with each other, building each other up and canceling each other out, making areas of high and low probability. The Copenhagen interpretation says that quantum particles do not have a defined position until measured. Instead, they exist in superposition, sort of a blur of all possible positions. We see this supported when we try to detect which slit the particle came out of. When we do this, we see the wave function collapse. Erwin Schrödinger came up with a thought experiment to try to disprove this theory. In the experiment, he places his cat in a sealed box, along with a contraption that will release poison if a radioactive substance decays. The cat is in the box for an hour, so there is an equal chance of the cat dying and not. The unstable atom would be in superposition, both decayed and not decayed, and since the cat's fate relies on the atom state, is the cat also in superposition, or does it collapse its own wave function? The Mini Worlds theory gets around this problem by saying that instead of the universe having to decide whether the cat is alive or dead, it just splits to accommodate every possible scenario. This would mean that there are near infinite number of alternate universes, one for every possible position, momentum, and spin for every single particle. This would mean that time is less linear and more like a tree, a branch for every single possible outcome of every single possible scenario. Every branch is as real as any other one, but they can't interact with each other. According to the Copenhagen interpretation, this coin is in all possible states at once, until I observe it. The many worlds theory would say that the universe, the universe would, would split, split to accommodate all, all possible outcomes. Unfortunately, we don't really know which one of these is right. There are strong scientists on both sides, and several holes that need patching up before one of them moves from theory to accepted fact. But which one you believe is for you to decide.